Vanderbilt's Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department is consistently ranked among the nation's top 50, but it's our research in the fields of medical robotics, nanoscience, and space electronics that really sets us apart. So we have a lot of opportunities for the graduate students to work with real systems that might be going to Jupiter or they might be orbiting the Earth. Our research group is the strongest academic research group in the U.S. and probably in the world in performing research on electronics for space and defense systems. At the Institute for Space and Defense Electronics, Director Ron Shrimp says if you're interested in being part of a team that will help determine America's future in space, your timing is perfect. We work on providing tools that people can use to analyze how long electronics are going to be able to survive in space. We don't really have enough students to fill the demand that we get from the the companies and the laboratories that come to us. I look at the radiation damage mechanisms that mean that one single particle can totally destroy a tiny electronic device. The better we understand those mechanisms, the more that you can model them and mitigate the damage mechanisms in the first place. We can use lasers to emulate the effects of radiation in microelectronic devices. And the reason that we want to do that is because lasers are inherently easier to set up, easier to operate, and more portable, and it gives us valuable insight into how radiation can affect these devices. Whether it's in outer space or on your smartphone, technology today is all about software. And at ISIS, the Institute for Software Integrated Systems, we focus on software-reliant systems that have mission-critical significance in the areas of advanced manufacturing, cybersecurity, and privacy-preserving healthcare systems, to name just a few. Basically, we create game-changing tools and platforms and then literally give them away on an open-source distribution. We've been doing open source since the mid-80s. I was one of the original people contributing to the GNU project with the Free Software, Software Foundation. So a lot of what we do doesn't just show up in papers at conferences and journals, but we actually develop software that gets used by people in real-world applications. And that's very unprecedented in the academic world. With more than 120 faculty, staff, and students, and over 60 active projects, there's no better way to make your mark in the world of cyber physical systems and model integrated computing than being a player on Team ISIS. We have long-term relationships with major companies like GM, Boeing, Siemens, General Electric, Microsoft, and other major players, both in the information technology dimension as well as the broader dimension of various kinds of embedded systems and cyber physical systems. It's rare to find groups within universities who can actually deliver production with quality software. Working in less alien but equally challenging frontiers, Vanderbilt's interdisciplinary research institutes, VICE and VINCE, are redefining the relationship between medicine, man, and machine. The, the goal of, of VICE is really to bring together engineering and medical faculty to work on uh, systems and techniques that will improve the outcome of those uh, surgical processes. So there are a number of systems, for example, that have been developed in our laboratories that are already in clinical use uh, at, uh, at Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt University has a really amazing medical school and we, you know, we can walk over there in 10 seconds to go see a, see a surgery and it's a, it's a really great opportunity to have that here. In Vince, some of the things we're looking at are advanced medical applications uh, with nanotechnology where we could have targeted drug delivery that goes exactly to the disease state and doesn't affect the healthy cells. In the other areas of things like nanoelectronics, we use light instead of electricity to try to make computers run faster, more efficiently, and with less power. Experimentation is the cornerstone of engineering. So don't you want to work in world-class labs? we make sure you have access. Graduate school is all about the transition from the classroom into the laboratory environment. At Vanderbilt, our graduate students are free to really focus on research and learning in the classroom. Uh, we don't have a lot of large courses that we expect graduate students to teach. Again, that gives our students opportunities to, to get into the lab as quickly as possible. 
I feel like I have a better chance of working with my students in a, more of a one-on-one -on -one relationship. For me, Vanderbilt was much more appealing as far as the size uh, and, and students and the faculty that I could work with. I came from a liberal arts school, so there the focus was on teaching. There wasn't as much in the way of opportunities to get into labs and get your hands dirty with the research. The future for engineers in the 21st century is limitless. It's just waiting for you to build it. Insight, innovation, impact. Vanderbilt School of Engineering.